hey what's up so this video is the part 2 of blender basics and in this video we're going to learn how we how we create new blender grease pencil brush so this is a very long word for it but we'll just create a custom brush in it and if you think this lip sync is very weird this is because I'm doing it by hand live so <laughs> like that okay now let's roll the intro and we'll then start the video okay so this is the scene and let's hide the character let's leave, make a new layer for it and you don't have to rename it or anything okay now let's create a new brush so step one I'll explain the things as we go but let's follow the step for now select very basic brush that does not, have, does not have anything so we'll select this pen so it does not ha have any radius sensitivity or strength sensitivity by sensitivity I mean pen sensitivity so if you press hard the things goes up so that if you press hard if the radius is, is on sensitive pressure sensitivity if you press hard the radius is more and if you press right the radius is less so this is the basic brush and it does not have anything on it so all we have to do now is we press N to show this panel and then we go to tools tab and then we click this new button so new okay let me just zoom into it because we're going to work on this area for a little bit okay so now that we have this new thing we have pen 001 we can rename this to our new brush so let's say textured brush uh, let's make textured brush okay let's, let's just keep it textured and then what you're supposed to do is you have to go to this material panel and create a new material by clicking on this plus and then clicking on new let's rename to this material same as the brush that we're going to use it for so let's rename it, rename it textured textured and okay now we have this main thing so to in order to make the brush textured we have to select the style from solid to textured and then we have this option to browse a brush tip for it so blend does not have any predefined brush, brush tips you have to browse your own so I already have it in mind so I can just click on open and I can go to this brush tip and we have the brush tip now if I was to show you guys what that is um, let me just browse this. So this is what the brush tip looks like. Very zoomed in. Okay, now let's try to draw something on it. Yeah, and this is very small. Let me just zoom into the canvas uh, like that. Yes. Okay, now this is very dashed. This not does not have any texture on it. This is because we have this um, line type set as line. Oh, oopsie. Okay, so we have we have the on this manually moving canvas around. We have this line type as line. We have to select either dot or square. I don't know the difference between these, but you can select either of these LX squares. So let's go with that. Okay, now let's draw on the canvas. Um, oh, it's very small. By pressing F, you can increase the size of the brush. So we have this. So we have gone from this to this now you're noticing that you're probably noticing that we have the screen color selected this one but our brush strokes are black this is because we have this blend value to zero you have to put it to one to to make it pick up the color so now we have that okay now this is not looking like pencil so let's let's fix that let's clear the canvas and now if you click on this button next to radius you can have your pressure sensitivity in it so if you press harder the radius is bigger and if you press light the radius is smaller and uh, let's also have the, our strength thing on pressure sensitivity so if we draw like this so we have we press lighter the opacity will be less and so it will be less transparent you know or either add that or the other way around I'm not sure okay now um, let's change the color to black so we can see it properly okay now this is acting a bit like textured brush but this is not quite right so 
yeah okay now um, now we have to go to advanced setting right here um, so this one okay now we're not going to um, you know uh, work with that we'll just go to strokes and first thing we want to do is disable this post processing thing and enable the randomized thing and put the UV thing all the way to one so the UV means rotation of the brush tip so this means that that as we draw the brush on uh, the line the the rotation of our brush tip will be randomized as we draw so now this is more looking more like pencil and let me put the size a bit down so yeah yeah that's that's the basic thing that's it and you can do uh, a couple of different things with it for example you can uh, have a radi radiation or radius vari variation in it so it looks more like uh, a watercolor pencil so that's your preference um, I, I, I don't like having this on and you can also bump the active smoothing so or you can bump it down so you have it so if you're doing very scratchy work uh, you can have it down to zero and if you're doing line work you can put it to three five zero or, or maybe zero point five um, but I like to have it on on two so that's it so that's the brush and now uh, and okay now you can also change this this thumbnail and uh, all you have to do is click on this custom icon and then you can choose an icon for the brush but since I don't have any so I'll just keep it this yeah it does not oh yeah it is using PNG but this doesn't look that good so using a JPEG file or a PNG file without any alpha is recommended for this but um, that's just for the sake of this tutorial let's keep that I'm not going to save it because I like to work on with flat flat things and now let's uh, have a demonstration for this uh, let me just zoom out so in order to select your custom brush you have to click on this and one more important thing you have to select your textured brush and pin it with it so so when you switch from one brush to another you'll have this by default so you see this is automatically switched to texture so this is that and to end this video let's draw something and while I'm drawing you can click on subscribe button and so let me just make this character say click on subscribe subscribe let me just make a quick fist yeah so I don't know what this is but I'll probably use this for okay now let's just change this and I'll probably use this for uh, my, my thumbnail not looking in the right place so uh, let me just mirror this and uh, okay now let's not bother with that 
okay so that's it this is the thumbnail and this was the video thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions you can just leave it in the comments or you can follow me on instagram and dm me on there and that's it for now and if you want to see me lip sync um, one more time you can do certain layer okay so let me just subscribe for more videos like this for more videos like this yeah bye bye <laughs>